Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on the subscribe button. Lots of great stuff happening around here. Hey, I'm currently set up at Fort Griffin State Historical Site. Man, I have actually got, I've actually got a water access right there. But the river's been too high to do anything. And I'm done here. Been here for three days. It's time to go somewhere else. So, tomorrow morning, bright and early, you can see it's still evening, but tomorrow morning, bright and early, we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna head to Copris Creek Campground. That is on Proctor Lake. Corps of Engineer Campground, matter of fact. It's gonna take me about three hours to get there RV time. It's gonna take you about 60 seconds YouTube time to get there. So let's go to Copperas Creek Campground, Proctor Lake. See you when we get there. Copperas Creek Campground, Proctor Lake. Originally, I was supposed to be on the other side of the, of the lake at Promontory Point, but Friday, I received a message from recreation.gov that the park was cl being closed due to flooding. So I had to scramble and find a new campsite uh, on Proctor Lake, and I was fortunate enough to get a site at Copperas Creek. Kind of glad I did. It to get here, I had to drive through the most torrential downpour ever that I've ever driven in in a motorhome. It was it was horrible. As a result of all this unusual rain here in Texas in 2021, uh, most of this campground is underwater. Fortunately, we got a good site. You can see we are waterside. Now, I'm not sure. It's tied up to, to my pavilion, so maybe the boat is included with my site. I don't know. So let's talk about the site real quick. It's site number 58. Now, this is a Corps of Engineer campground. So we have our our, our, our wood burning ring, our fire ring, concrete picnic table with a very nice Copper's Creek. This is on Proctor Lake. Proctor Lake is on the Leon River. So there's a handicap accessible fishing dock when the lake is, is is not so high. It looks like we got more rain coming. Bummer. All right, we're gonna go see some stuff. As much stuff as we can see before the rain comes. Now I was talking to my neighbor he said he has AT&T cell service and it works pretty good. I have Verizon. I, I can make phone calls. I'm on an extended network. I have no G's. No G's, no data. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be binging on YouTube in the rain. 
Fortunately, I downloaded a, a couple movies while I still had data. All right, let's go see a boat ramp. We're at the boat ramp. <laughs> Coppers Creek Park. They even have a courtesy dock, but there's not a whole lot of point in the courtesy dock today. Because you have to swim out to it. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, we won't be looking at those campsites today. So I was originally, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I was originally scheduled to be in the park across the lake over there. That's, that's Promontory Point underwater let's go let's go see if we can find some dry stuff coppers creek coppers creek park has a group pavilion that's almost waterside group pavilion lots of table space lots of shade that's the important thing best of all we have RV connections so you can bring a group of RVers together. Now, I don't know if it's double for each. Let's see. Let's see what we have. So we have two 30s in each box. So we can get eight RVs. Eight RVs with connections. All right. Let's see if we can find some more dry stuff. Coppers Creek Campground on Proctor Lake has several of these double RV sites for the small group. This one actually has Seward, number 42. And this, this walk down to the water access here. That's pretty cool. There's, a, there's another one right up on top of the hill there. But, but no walk to the water access. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can find. Well, it turns out Coppers Creek Campground has two fishing docks. And we can actually go check this one out. It's, it's not underwater, at least not yet. So let's cruise on down there and check it out. dark cloud is, is moving my way I don't think I'll be doing much fishing it's dirty as the water is oh no we'll see well there you have it Coppers Creek Lake. This I like. I'm like. I'm liking this campground. See what else we can find. So much water! 
But these are power sites underwater. <laughs> Copperus Creek Campground has a swim area out there, underwater, somewhere. So if you want to go swim, you got to come back after uh, the water goes down. All right, let's see what else we can find. Copper's Creek Campground has got some really, really nice sites. Check out this one. This was number 11. This is an ADA friendly site right here. Cool stuff. And dark clouds coming. I better scoot on down the road. I don't have a whole lot of whole lot of hope that I'm gonna catch anything. I gotta oh there. Got a got a batch of minnows. There's a little store right uh right in front of the entrance to the park that, that sells bait and food and soda pop, wine, beer, and they have free Wi-Fi if you need some Wi-Fi. The uh, park ranger I spoke with earlier said that the lake is 10 feet over conservation pool. That means <laughs> water's 10 feet higher than it normally would be. And they're having to close most of the public access areas. Fortunately, this, this is not going to close here, but the rest of the the lake is shutting down but no one is no one else is fishing i saw one one gentleman earlier who was fishing and he was not catching he was just fishing but you know i'm gonna be stubborn and i'm gonna give it a try the fellows that were that had their boat tied up here yesterday they were in that site that guy said that he was getting some bites out here yesterday, but that was four feet down from where it is now. Have nothing else to do because I can't go shoot video. Might as well see if we can catch some fish. I almost lost my rod. <laughs> I walked up to the RV to call Yappy. Yeah. 
Look at there. Good morning. Man, it is a beautiful morning. Just having some coffee. <clears throat> Enjoying that. I mean, look at look at that beautiful sunrise. Oh, you can't see the sunrise. We have to go over here to see the sunrise. These are the mornings that we really like. Copris Creek Campground, Proctor Lake. Unfortunately, there's a line of storms <laughs> moving this way. Strange days. Some strange weather we're having for, for June. It was in the 50s this morning. In June of all, I mean, that's crazy. All right, we're done here at Copper's Creek Campground. We're going to move on down the lake a little bit. We're actually just going to go literally right over there. See if I can get you right there. We're going to move over to Soul Creek Campground. I guess that's how you pronounce it. S-O-W-E-L-L. -L, Sowell, Sowell Creek Campground. It's about, I don't know, 15 minute drive for me and a 30 second time lapse for you. Hopefully I'm gonna have a little easier water access. It's kind of, because with the way the way the lake has been rising, it's still coming up too. Before we move over to the next campsite, I thought we'd come down here and take a look. <laughs> See how much the water has risen just overnight. Oh, yesterday, the benches on this table were exposed. Actually, the water was, was just about just covering the, the concrete pad. I had a camera sitting on the tripod right off of that point or that post. And there was a guy in his pickup fishing in his pickup parked over here. His water, water level was way down there. Uh. Beautiful sunrise. We're done here at Copper's Creek Campground. We're gonna move on, actually back over there. That's the dam. So we're gonna be moving right back over in that area. We're actually gonna pay a visit to Sowell Creek Campground. But we're done here at Copper's Cove Campground. Give you a little recap unless the lake is flooded <laughs> if the lake is not flooded coppers creek campground is a really nice place to, to come and spend some time camping and fishing boating if you have a boat it is definitely a cool place to visit kind of out of the way to be a a, a, a waypoint unless you just need a nice place to spend a couple of days decompressing from driving uh, there's not a whole lot of, act of stuff going on here other than being at the lake. There, and there's a golf course. Oh yeah, let's not forget. I'm not a golfer, so I, I, I forget about golf courses. Get the better light there. There we go. Big fish. Coppers Creek Campground. If you have an RV, you need to plan on coming out here. All right, we're done on this one. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video, which will be at the other side of the dam here at, at Proctor Lake. 
If this is your first visit, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so very deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. I would, I didn't even know this lake existed. As I continue my search for destinations, I keep finding cool places like this. For my patrons, you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?